Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Bharat Jain D365. So today, let's try to explore accounting depreciation versus tax depreciation. So generally what happens uh, whenever we implement fixed assets module, the organization would request or the client would request accounting depreciation and tax depreciation. This is because they can maintain a different depreciation profile for the same fixed assets group. One is used for accounting purpose and one is used for tax purpose. Generally, they show a higher depreciation to have a tax uh, claim, right? So let's try to understand how this can be configured in MST. So whenever we create fixed assets, right? So let's say FA, I will use the same group uh, for both accounting and for tax purpose. So my fixed assets group would remain same. But the step one is, let's say, depreciation. So when we create depreciation profile, I need to have two different profile because I need to have two different tax. So for accounting, there should be one, let's say, straight line, which I've already configured. For tax purpose, let's take reducing balance. So step one, when I'm for, uh, you know configuring for accounting and tax purpose, I will be focusing only on the tax purpose, right? So let's create one depreciation profile for reducing balance, one for straight line. Straight line, something I've already created. So let's go to system, fixed assets module. So go to fixed asset, setup, depreciation profiles. So click on depreciation profile. Here, I've already taken straight line, which I will use for book purpose or accounting purpose. So let's click new. Let me take reducing balance. 70% maybe. Right, so let me take reducing balance. And uh, let me give 70%. So fiscal, I am taking monthly, so I can compare both fiscal period save so this is the depreciation profile which i am using for tax purpose so the next is book so in the book one would be for accounting purpose uh, where i would create let's say fiscal which i will use for accounting purpose i will create one book called tax now what is the difference between these two books layer posting layer right so here i'll be taking current layer for posting and here I will be taking tax layer. So this is what the difference between the tax layer and the accounting layer. So what this does is whenever we post transaction uh, whether um, and when I'm running any report by default system is going to check current layer. It is not going to take values from the tax layer. Let's assume I'm going to post my depreciation to depreciation expense account to accumulated depreciation for, and it's one account for both. When I run trial balance, I can see balance only from current layer and not from tax layer. So we will explore that uh, more when we go inside the setup, right? So first let's do the setup uh, where I configure current and tax layer. So let's go to fixed assets book, FA, setup, click on books. So I've already configured for fiscal. So let's configure one for my tax layer. So click new book name. I'm going to give tax. So here calculate depreciation is yes, because I'm going to calculate depreciation. It's just that the depreciation method would be different. So I'll be selecting reducing balance here. And uh, I will obviously post transaction. That's why post to GL is enabled. But remember, the posting layer should be changed to tax. So this is a key difference between the actual book was the tax book. Click save. So now the other part of it is I am going to differentiate between fiscal and tax in terms of depreciation. But my acquisition, I don't need to post two different acquisition, right? Because the acquisition value anyway will remain same. So I will post. So I will post acquisition to fiscal. But for tax layer, I don't need to post acquisition separately. So whatever is posted to current layer, the same should be derived to tax layer, right? So that's why when you do a current layer setup, that is the fiscal, go to derived books and select for acquisition, I would be selecting tax. So when I post acquisition to my fiscal, it will be derived to tax as well. 
transaction type acquisition. I am not doing this for depreciation because I am going to push depreciation separately for tax later and that's the main purpose why I created two different books, right? So make sure you select the derived book as tax here. Now come back to my tax layout. So click on fixed assets group. I'm going to connect a fixed assets group here, plant and machinery. So you can give a service life and click save. So that's the setup that has to be done for uh, tax purpose, difference between accounting and tax. Now let's go to posting profile. So when I'm setting up posting profile, I will take the same main account which I have done for my actual book, right? So we have fiscal book and we have tax book. I will do the same setup for both uh, fiscal and tax in terms of posting profile. So let's go to posting profile, fixed assets setup, fixed assets posting profile. Let's do for acquisition and depreciation, right? So click add. So book, make sure you select tax. I'm doing group wise. So the group that I just connected my tax layer was plant and machinery. So acquisition, I will select fixed asset. On offset account, okay. Another key thing here to remember is whenever you set up for tax, see generally when we do for fiscal, I will select main account, offset account we will leave blank. So at the time of acquisition, if I'm acquiring from vendor invoice, system will pick offset account from there, right? Similarly for tax also, you can set up main account. You can leave offset account blank in case if you're posting from fixed assets journal, sorry, uh, vendor invoice journal or even from PO. If you want to post through fixed assets journal where you have to select ledger account in the offset, then for tax layer, mandatorily it has to be assigned here otherwise system will throw error so just remember that right so let me uh, assign one account which i have created for that save so this is for acquisition let's do the same for deposition so click add select the book which is tax group and the group that i want to post transaction for plant and machinery so I will select accumulated depreciation here and I will select depreciation expense of the offset. Same. So this is it with respect to the setup which is required for tax. Now let's go for transaction. So first let me create one FA and then we'll go for transaction. So to create fixed asset, go to fixed assets, fixed asset, click on fixed assets. So click new, select the group, plant and machinery. I have not enabled the auto number. So I will just randomly fill a number. Test. Right, so I have just filled save. Now if you click on books, I can see both acquisition, uh, I mean one for fiscal and one for tax. So both is available here. So now I can see when I, if I go to depreciation, so here you can see one for fiscal, it is strictly in depreciation and for tax purpose, the depreciation is reducing balance. So in this way, there's two different profile assigned to same fixed assets group. Now let's go for transaction. So first transaction is acquisition. As I told you, at the time of posting acquisition, I don't need to post for accounting. So let's post for Sorry, I don't need to post for tax. Let's post for accounting and it should derive for tax as well, right? So let's go for transaction. So go to fixed assets, journal entries, fixed asset journal. You can acquire from PO or you can even acquire from vendor invoice journal. I'm just doing from FA journal. So go to acquisition, go to lines. So I'm acquiring transaction as on July 20. So let me select the fixed asset. <clears throat> so if you see here, system is going to auto pick book and it's going to be my fiscal and enter the fixed assets amount that you want to acquire and offset account. Ideally, I can select vendor. Uh, I don't have vendor setup here. So when you select vendor for tax purpose, you don't need to do anything, but 
if you are selecting a ledger account here make sure in my posting profile as i explain offset account is defaulted so once you validate click post so the transaction is posted so if i go to voucher so i can see the transaction which is posted here so you can see there is fixed assets acquisition which is current layer and tax layer as i told you you just post acquisition once and system is going to post acquisition for tax layer as well that's because i have defaulted my uh, derived books so now that i can see there is two balance in the same account as fa acquisition right so let's go to trial balance to verify this balance so go to general ledger inquiries and reports uh, then click on trial balance okay so let's run for today's date uh, you can see your posting layer by default the posting layer is current layer so click calculate balance right so you can see here i can see debit just once right and you can see amount is just one lakh so if you see my transaction so fa debit as twice right one lakh plus one lakh but in my trial balance as i told you anything that is posted to tax layer will not reflect in my trial balance because i am running trial balance based on current layer so that's how you differentiate between accounting and tax so now that we are done with acquisition let's go for depreciation and when i'm posting depreciation this is where i need to post once for accounting and once for tax purpose because it is two different tax so first let me let me post for accounting so let's go for transaction so I have not created a separate journal name, so let me use the same journal name. So, fix the assets journal, click new, select the acquisition journal name. So, I can change here this to depreciation. Go to lines. First, I am running for accounting. So, click proposal, depreciation proposal. So, let's run for July 31st. And here, you can see posting layer basically by default it is current so i am running for accounting which is current layer so i will keep as it is and click ok so the amount is calculated uh, so i can see for july 31st <clears throat> the amount is taken for fiscal book so let me just post right so currently i have posted for fiscal so if i go back to my fixed assets fiscal transactions i can see acquisition and depreciation right so now let's post depreciation for my tax purpose so you can see transaction here so there is an acquisition now let's post depreciation now here's another catch if i want to post depreciation for tax purpose where my current layer or tax uh, you know layer is tax layer i have to create a journal name where my posting layer is tax otherwise you cannot post depreciation for tax layer so let's go to journal ledger journal setup journal names so make sure you create one journal name for tax so for journal type it will be post fixed asset voucher series i'm just randomly selecting here if you see the posting layer by default you can see it will be current so this has to be changed to tax and save this is the layer that will allow you to post tax depreciation now let's go to fixed asset journal entries fixed assets journal click new select the tax journal name go to lines proposal depreciation proposal so you can see since i'm selecting a posting layer tax or journal names by default here you can see it is tax so july 31st and click ok right now the transaction is posted and you can see the amount it's a difference amount now if i come back to books go to my tax click transaction so you can see here uh, refresh one second, I think it is not at loaded. 
Oh, I have not posted, so let me just post. Okay, so once you post, come back here, go to transaction. So you can see there's acquisition and depreciation. Accordingly, my netbook also will vary. Now, if I go to trial balance and refresh, so you can see, oh, let me run this again. For July 31st and calculate balance. So now I can see depreciation, which is only posting layer of <coughs> uh, current posting layer. So you don't see anything related to tax here. So in this way, you have a book or you have a fixed asset that has depreciation for tax layer as well as current layer. So if you want to compare these two, there is one report, uh, inquiries and reports, transaction report, fixed assets book compare. So let's compare here one fiscal and one for tax and click OK. So in this report, if I expand here, so you can see for one fixed asset, there is two different method applied, uh, straight line and reducing, and you can see the depreciation amount. Uh, for current layer, it's 645, and for tax layer, it is 225, right? So in this way, the users can run depreciation for tax purpose, so they can export report, uh, not just this report, any report, um, change the layer to tax, so they can see everything related to tax layer in that report and uh, for accounting they can keep the layer as current layer so in this way i can see report in accounting and tax at the same time my trial balance will only show balance related to my accounting and nothing related to tax would be updated here so that's about tax layer and accounting layer that's it for today thanks everyone